In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you possibly the best little tactic that you can use to absolutely torch the cover three Mabel meta defense out of a spread offense, specifically through running the, the play four verticals out of this passing attack. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel focuses in on helping people become the best Madden player that they can possibly become. And so if you are looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you right now to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now, like I said, I have been working really, really hard in the lab and just training and practicing and learning uh, route concepts and things like that that I can carry over with me into Madden 22 as we prepare. We're kind of in that training camp stage where we're really trying to learn everything that we can that is transferable. And so I've been trying to document that. I've been trying to put all of that into a resource for you. And I've actually created a route encyclopedia, route concept encyclopedia guide, which is basically designed to teach you everything that you need to know about route concepts, whether it be two wide receiver route concepts, three wide receiver route concepts, bunch, spread, compression, uh, short side of the field versus wide side of the field, all of that stuff and so we've broken all that down into our route concept encyclopedia that's meant to be a timeless resource that is going to continue to gain more traction and so it's a one-time fee if you want to get it it's 15 bucks it's down in the description of this video i've left a link down there so you can go pick it up if you want and it's a one-time fee of $15, and we're going to continue to upgrade it as we develop new route combinations. So every time I develop a new route concept, I'm going to be putting the route concept into the encyclopedia so that you can get access and be able to learn that knowledge kind of ongoing. It's really meant to be kind of a, like I said, an encyclopedia or resource that you can continue to come back to over the years. And so that leads me to today's video on Fade Out, and this is one of my favorite concepts in the game it's actually kind of specific to empty tray stack because we're going to be using some motion out of this or like a stack style formation um, it doesn't have to be the concept can be used from other formations but it's a really good way to run four verticals and it's very simple how we're going to set this up so the biggest thing that you need to be able to do this with is i would recommend for this specific concept that you get a hot route master quarterback. And the reason why is because if you want to run this play exactly the way I like to run it, you need a hot route master quarterback. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting Evans on a corner route, just like that. And then I'm going to be putting triangle on a vertical route, just like that right there. And what you're going to see, and then I typically also like to take the R1 and put him on a vertical route. And I'm going to come back to that in just a minute. But the first read on this is really if I can get this seam route. So if I can inside pass lead that seam route up the snap, I'm going to throw that every single time. And what that does is it gives me this concept right here. And this is where I'm going to say you can do this concept from other formations. It's just going to maybe look a little bit differently. We're going to go over that in just a second when we talk about Hot Route Master. But again, we're just streaking R1 in triangle and we're putting the square in a corner. Now when I motion this guy out, look at what this, this is what the play actually looks like. Okay, so it's a really, a, it turns this route into a slot seam as opposed to the cover three being able to sit inside and be able to have a lot of leverage. So when I make this one motion right here, it really does force um, a lot of things to go wrong for the defense. The other thing that I absolutely love about this concept is what it does to cover three Mabel. My zone drops are 30, 10, and 10 in this video. I'm using the best zone. A lot of people have uh, dubbed this the best zone in Madden 21, which is the same flat zone because it plays so many things underneath. But when you use these motion corner routes, just like that right there, they're never, ever going to cover that route. They're never, ever going to cover that corner route because the seam flat is going to first play the vertical seams and then he's going to head over to the flat. The other reason why is because most corner routes start in compression. And what that means is they look something like this. What I'm not telling you to do, really important, I'm not telling you to do this, where we have a corner and a streak. You're gonna see that their defense, if I run this, I'm still gonna get open, but the defense is gonna be a lot closer to me and there's gonna be a lot more opportunity for them to be able to make a play on the football. What I'm telling you to do is a streak and a corner route, which is um, a little bit different and it's really good. It's something, it's a concept we've used out a bunch uh, for years in Madden and this concept right here now what happens is that inside zone doesn't have the leverage to get outside and defend that little snap throw route. This is why I love to use this concept out of 
um, mesh because it makes mesh one of the hardest concepts in the game to defend. So you might be sitting there thinking, well, okay, how are they going to defend this? How are they going to defend this concept? Well, one of the ways that they're going to be able to defend this concept is you're going to see that they're going to start to do something like this. They're going to put this guy in a cloud, and they're going to put this guy in a deep half zone. So they're going to basically begin to start playing cover two on that side. Okay. Well, what's really cool about this is this formation is actually really gifted and really able to um, just make that a difficult decision. So I can actually leave this place stock and run the same motion out just like this. But now what you're going to see is now I'm going to be equipped to beat that cloud flat up the seams because I now have a wheel route that I can use to be able to get that separation. So if you start to notice that they're using that specific adjustment on you or they're playing cover two, you are going to have an option at which you can beat them. Let's talk about the right side of the field now. So all I said to do on the right side was just simply streak the R1 receiver. And I want to show you what this is going to do against this route combination. You're going to see here that I have an inside pass lead right up the seam, just like that. It's kind of a bang, bang throw. But the more that you throw this and the better you get with gunslinger and timing, basically what you're going to do is you're trying to get this football um, so that it basically runs that receiver away from the free safety. The free safety is going to suffer, is going to suction down onto the X receiver, um, the, the tight end. And so when we see that safety suction down, we want to throw it over the top of his head. So it's just literally pass lead inside and up. And that was a little bit too much. I, I didn't get that enough to the inside. You want to kind of pass lead that. If your controller was a joystick, you really want that to go probably at about 10, 30, or 11 o'clock if, if your joystick was a clock. That's kind of how you want to hold the, 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 the thing. And this is going to help because now you're going to have a cover three beater on both sides of the field. So again, you throw it right here. Hold it kind of right in that window. And there I threw it just a little bit too late. Let me throw that one more time. I'm kind of off my game here without Gunslinger. But... In Mutt, you're going to be able to have Hot Route Master, and you're going to be able to have Gunslinger. Obviously, you're going to be able to beat Cover 2 with the route to the circle receiver. That's why we like to leave him vertical. You've got Cover 3 beat on both sides with this, and then the, the Cover 4 quarters, we're going to come back to that in just a second. But you'll see here, this is a true 5 vertical concept. So again, just pass lead that up, and you can even lob it sometimes. Brady's not really cooperating with me here, so let me try to get this throw just so you can see that this is open. The other thing that I like about this is, let's say that you get a man-to-man -man call. If you get a man-to-man -man call, your corner route should beat man-to-man, -man, or your crossing route. One of those two routes should be very good against man-to-man. -man. Um, but again, here, let me show you cover three. So again, I'm just kind of waiting right there, and that's, uh, I can't get it quite over the top of his head. I don't know why. Um, Brady's just not cooperating with me. One thing you can do to get it over the top of his head a little bit better is take circle and put him on a comeback. I don't like to put circle on a comeback, but it will help me just a little bit. Um, there's other ways that we can kind of glitch out that third uh, if we wanted to. If we wanted to put a post route, if we had a post route, corner route concept here, uh, I'll kind of show you here. But again, the R1, you see here, just pass lead that. That's what we're looking for right there if he would, if he would catch it. And the thing is, you can get that. I've just been having a little bit bad timing in this video with Brady, but that route is so good. And, and like I said, with Gunslinger, it's going to be even better. Uh, Gunslinger makes that throw a lot easier for you. But again, kind of right there. That's what we're looking for, and that's what you're seeing. So you got a fast receiver and you got a Gunslinger. You're going to be able to hit that route a lot better. Brady doesn't quite have the arm strength, but that is a great route to throw uh, on this. So now let's talk for a second here about um, let's talk for a second here um, about cover uh, cover two. Just so you can see this, this route to the circle receiver against cover two is one of the best routes in the game, for, especially for 30 yard cloud flats. You'll see here just pass lead that to the right, click on, and as you see, you're able to get over the top of the cloud flat. And then on the other side, which is where we're talking about this corner route, uh, let me just show this real quick and then we're gonna go over match coverage. So this corner route on the left, um, because you because he's so far backed off of the field, you're gonna have a lot of room. So literally just, all you're gonna do is just low ball it and kind of, it's almost like a, and, and maybe you shouldn't low ball it, maybe it's just outside pass lead, but um, because he's outside of him, but you're basically just trying to get the ball away from the defender. So you, you don't wanna low ball it because if you low ball it, you're gonna have that. The fate, if you leave the out route that he's on, the out route will beat it. 
Um, and I'll go over that in just a second. But again, you're just that's what you're see. See, I just kind of ghost it, kind of ghost them outside. That's what we're looking for. Now, I want to go over one more thing with you in this video, and that is what if they what if you don't have Hot Route Master? If you don't have Hot Route Master, just use this out route. Uh, and what you'll find is this out route will do the same thing as the corner route. It's just a snap throw. The zones fall away from it. It's really easy read. The out route is actually better if they're running man-to-man. -man. So if you get a man-to-man -man look where they're playing too high man, which is probably the best coverage for this, look at that out route just consistently working over the man-to-man -man coverage. Now, uh, the one thing I would say, so you get that Tampa 2 call and you're using that out route, just watch this out route work over. Like I said, it's a little better than the corner route against Tampa 2 because, as you can see, you don't have any reason uh, to necessarily need to get outside of the player. Uh, as far as the cover three bomb that we talked about to R1, you're going to see that without a corner route, this is still going to work fine. You're still going to be able to hit triangle up the seam. I'll show that first. You see here just inside pass lead, click on a secure catch that. It's not as open as a corner route. A corner route's going to make it a little bit more open. It's why I personally prefer the corner route because it really makes this a pain to cover out of Mike Blitz 3. And then, obviously, let's talk about the R1 receiver. That's a three wide receiver concept. You'll see right here, just pass lead it up right in the hole. And, and there I threw it a little bit too late. Brady's just killing me in this video. But like I said, typically you can get that over the top. I just got to work on my timing a little bit. If you're practicing this play, make sure that you're in practice mode a little bit before you go into a game or, or run this against a buddy in a lab game or something so you can kind of get a feel for the timing. The timing is really the hardest thing right there. That's what we're looking for. Kind of get over the top, and there you see we kind of catch it. And, again, if Brady could just get that inside just a smidge more, um, Brady has such a weird passing trajectory, and so the ball comes out just a little bit weird. Uh, but let me show you. Let me try to show you here. So, again, right – right there and I'm just going to lob it and, and there I'm, I probably threw it a little too early um, it's not really a lob ball it's more of a bullet pass uh, but anyways and we've talked about other ways at which you can beat this from this so I'm not too worried about this um, that route is available I want you to know that I just want you to go into practice mode and like learn how to throw it um, it's really a specific timing thing you're really trying to figure out when at which point do I do that right there that's what we're looking for and there you see him kind of split it and that's what we're looking for against cover three. So lastly, I wanted to show uh, match coverage. I, I think this is one of the best match beaters in Madden. Um, you're going to get an automatic. I mean, it's a true five verticals. And that's, that's what I really like about it, especially with that corner route. The play really runs five people vertically. So if your opponent is running a lot of match defense, they're going to run into a lot of problems with this. Again, this is in the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook. If you want to get access to the full guide, that's in the True Fan membership, which I'm going to link down in the description. But here we go, fade out. All we're doing is just streaking R1. Um, and then I'm just going to just use this corner route here. But I want you to watch um, R1. What you should see here, and part of this is because I actually streak. If you know they're running quarters on you, like if you know that you're going to get quarters coverage, and give me some grace here on this one because um, – be, just because of the pressure of the sheds are so crazy. So if you know you're going to get true like cover four quarters, watch this. If I leave R1 on his angled streak, the angled streak actually will do a little bit better than the straight up traditional streak route against match. Um, you see there he's completely wide open naked for a one play touchdown. Let me show you if I, um, if I just re-streak him just so I can show you kind of what's happening. So if you're getting a lot of quarters, you might want to just leave him on his route if I re-streak him, what you're going to see happen here um, is that safety will occasionally will we'll play him. You see how he goes, see how he follows him up the seam because this, I don't know really why. I honestly, don't. I think it's a little bit of a glitch in the formation. It's not how it's supposed to be. Um, but anyways, so that's the idea there. And then as far as this backside concept. Um, what you're going to see is this corner route is in man-to-man. -man. So when he cuts, I typically can throw that. Um, the one thing I would say, and this is a little bit more support, if you want to use this out route, you can use the out route. The out route will be very good against match because it's man-to-man. -man. So it's a little bit better than the corner route because the corner route just doesn't have quite enough space because of our motioning him out. 
Um, if we were to snap the ball like right when he moves, like right there, he'd have just enough space. So when he cuts, just throw it outside. You see how they just kind of freak out and they don't cover it. That's very consistent with cover four match. So you're going to have a lot of that, a lot of that opportunity. Um, as far as the, the, the route to, to triangle, you're not going to have a ton. Um, you see that they do a good job of taking him away. So, you know, really you're either looking R1. If that's not there, you're looking to your other receiver. But this has huge play potential against match coverage, and that's why I like it so much. Um, this R1 route right here is so good. Uh, let me just throw that up to the corner because of the, the, the run commit. But let me show you this one more time to R1. And, again, you don't have to do anything. I'm just going to snap the ball. Um, the motion will make it even better. But look at how open he gets over the top. Absolutely naked, wide open, one play touchdown against cover four quarters. And you can quick snap that before they can get their adjustments off, which is really, really awesome. Uh, and then, like I said, you have everything else here. If you want to use this, th this motioned out route, He's really good against man uh, on that side. So long story short, you don't need to have a corner route, but the corner route is something that I think helps a lot. Um, and then strategically use this wheel route to the left. You don't have to use it in everything, but strategically pick times at which you can use that and you'll find a lot of success. Another little quick tip. Um, this is not something that is, as you can see right there, it's not something you wanna do if they're off coverage. If they're off coverage in the run match, you don't necessarily want to do this, but if they press you, if you get something that looks like this, put triangle on a fade route, and what you'll see is basically a snap, kind of lob it out there over the top. You've got a chance to get over the top. And again, you know, if you if 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 you can see that that corner is clearly running over the top of him, then don't throw it. But if he's not, throw it. Um, and you're going to have a lot of success because look right here, just kind of lob it out to the left, click on. And that's kind of what you're looking at right there. So this is a great play for a lot of different situations. It's quickly becoming one of my favorite plays in the entire game. The fact that it is a one play touchdown against every, pretty much every coverage in the game is absolutely crazy to me. Um, the one thing that I would say is, you know, really if it's match coverage, I would recommend it's, and you're not gonna know obviously, but if you could know, if you, if you have a tell, if they give you some some kind of reason to believe that it's match coverage, please don't put R1 on a, on a streak. Run him on his route because it's going to get super wide open. As long as he doesn't drop a wide open touchdown, you're going to get one play touchdowns every single time against match coverage. They have to use her that route. If they don't use her that, it's automatically going to be a one play touchdown every single time. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get the rest of my route encyclopedia offensive guide that will work any year and every year in Madden, I'm going to leave a link to that guide in the description of this video. Thanks for your time. If you have any questions, feel free to text me.